All right, so today we're gonna go over P16 acceleration. I've already got mine dialed in. It's at 0.7. I'm gonna put it at zero just to give you an idea of what's gonna happen. The lowest it'll go is 0.1. This is basically P16 is your ramp to full power. So when you pull the trigger to full power, it's gonna ramp the power in over a predetermined time in seconds, which my ideal time without having a cutoff and a high amperage cutoff is a 0.7 so we're going to write these settings and i'm going to show you what a 0.1 does so we got our cable over here already hooked up we already did our tune so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn this off we're going to have to unplug this i already got the remote powered up and i already got the system powered up. The BEC allows that to happen as soon as I plug in the batteries because this does not have an on onboard BEC. So now we're going to power this up and let it arm. And now you're going to notice that what happens is it works fine, but if I were to see, so what's happening. So what's happening there is the car is probably pulling somewhere around 900 amps or so and it goes into a cutoff basically. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what happens. Plug this guy back in, plugged into the computer, get rid of our error message and we're going to turn it back on. So now we're going to go back into that tune to that same setting. Go up here to settings, go up to all parameters. Bypass that error message. We're going to come right back down to where we were. Which is P16 acceleration. So this is something you have to play with. On mine, I've already played with it. So I've realized that 0.7 of a second to full power is what keeps me out of cutting off due to too high of an amperage. <clears throat> but this is here on the bench. Once I start driving it on the street, things change. I might have to up that just to keep it from shutting down like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write these settings. And then we're gonna come back over to the car. I'm gonna turn it off. Unplug the tuner. Turn it back on, let it initialize. So now you're gonna see that it shouldn't cut off on me. By the way, the data log shows it's making about 22 horsepower. So, very happy with it. If you like the video like and subscribe to the channel stay tuned for more information i'm going to try to get as much information on this esc settings and data log as i can to help everybody out and that's it for today